Alright, mm, my friends, on the menu tonight is this fish right here. And I'm gonna let my wife chop it up. So I'm just gonna, usually I'm cooking and she's behind the camera, but she's gonna show you how to chop this fish up, how to cook this bad boy up. And we actually bought this guy yesterday and she got too lazy last night and didn't cook it. We went to Baranga at night. And tonight we're actually going to a uh, beauty contest called Miss Tin. There's 10 contestants. So I'm excited about doing that and taking you guys with me. But let, just let my wife go ahead and start chopping this fish up. And she's going to demonstrate how to chop this thing up get it ready. Go ahead, baby. Come on. Come on. Okay, so her, her technique is to cut the tail off. We'll put that over in the water. No. Thank you. So she's chopping up this bad boy. Not exactly the technique I'm used to, because in the West, what do we do? We clean the fish, right? But uh you can see how my wife's doing it. She's just she's just chopping this bad boy up. To save somebody, and for that, I love you. You know, I'm a redneck. I grew up catching catfish, perch, and catfish, and that's not how I clean fish or cook fish. So, uh, I'm not sure if she's gonna do any cleaning with the guts. Are you gonna take the guts out or no? Or are you just gonna cook it like this? You're gonna clean it? Alright, well, okay. So just a different method. She is gonna clean the guts out, but that's that's how she chopped that fish up. How many parts we got, baby? Five? Five. We got the got the ass, three in the middle, and the head. Now she's gonna pull the guts out like that. So she she does it a little bit different than uh, than I'm used to. That's that's the way it is. All right, let's put some light on the subject here, folks. That's better. Shit, I, I never remember to use this light on this camera at all. This old Sony is actually does real well in low light conditions. So that's what she's doing. Just chop it into five pieces, pull out the guts. And we'll take it from there. You know, my mom, my mom is shopping for me a fishing pole over in the state. She's gonna, you know, what the hell happened there? My mom, our right, camera is going haywire for some reason. I don't know what's going on with the lights. I'm not real sure. Let me try it one more time. She's shopping for me a fishing pole over in the States, and when she sends it, I'll use these fish guts to uh, go fishing with. And it looks like my old Sony camcorder may be about to bite the dust. And I hate if it does, because I love shooting on this thing. It's so easy, so handy, and the audio is great. All right, maybe it's back to being okay now. I don't say this is any. Okay, so she's got the fish cleaned up, and all she's going to do is marinate it, she said, in some soy sauce, a little seasoning, uh, with a little salt. And I think we're using this magic wrap stuff over here, and that's all that's going to go in the fish to, uh, to marinate it, to season it, and it'll be ready. Got the iPad going on over here with a uh, Bluetooth speaker, watching some uh, Tagalog movies, downloaded from YouTube. All right, so she's in the salt right here, getting the salt on this fish. Mm -hmm. Getting a little salt on that bad boy. And I got a plan. I got to. Uh, I'm gonna make. Ooh, here we go again. The Sony is doing something. I don't know what the hell is going on with this guy. Alright, 
All right, so we're going with this magic wrap right here. Just gonna put one magic wrap. All right, baby, we hit it with the soy sauce. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so that fish, that fish is marinating right there. And what's the name of this fish, honey? I don't know. I, well, I don't know. She don't know. It's just called a fish. How much will we pay for that guy? One drink. That's 120 pesos. So that's a that's a two dollar and what the hell is that? Two dollars and just say two dollar fifty cent fish right there. All right, folks, my wife's firing it up, and she didn't clean the damn wok from this morning. She left the damn hot dog grease in here, which I don't like that shit. But she just added a little bit of oil uh, to the previously cooked hot dog grease, so this fish is going to have a cheap-ass red hot dog flavor to it. So, she's getting it going here. That's what this dude looks like right here. And sorry about all the background, but got a whole crew over here now. All right, get it in there, baby. Get it going. Ow. Let's see what you got. Uh, there we go. You know, I don't know, people. I think maybe in America we overcomplicate cleaning fish. Maybe I've been doing it wrong all these years, you know? Spending too much time uh, cleaning it, gutting it, skinning it, whatever you want to call it, you know? My wife didn't spend no time on cleaning this fish. She chopped that son bitch into five pieces and basically pulled out some guts and then it goes in the pot. So that fish is frying up right there, and, and she's over, she's over here being distracted with the, with the family and the crew, and not even paying attention to it. So I don't know. Maybe they got the right idea. The simplicity of of the way you do things, and I'm all about simplicity and minimalism these days. So. Next time I cook a fish, I'm going to try her method and just see how it turns out for me. Alright folks, most of my cooking shows I'm doing real time, but it, I just I cut out about three minutes. It's only been cooking three, four minutes. Man, that fish is starting to look good. Again, just a little bit of oil. It's soy sauce, magic wrap with a little salt, and that's all we're doing on this fish. So that's what we got going on. And I know it's loud, but we got Andrew E going on the iPad over here. And with the Bluetooth speaker. So whoever stops by. And you know, let me tell you. You know, um, you know, I grew up on a dirt road, family all live around each other. So, you know, family stops by. Whenever they want to stop by. And it's the same way here. Got a lot of neighbors. Everybody was wonderful people. So what I figured out is, you know, in the afternoons, I just cut the garlic movies on with the iPad and my, my Bluetooth speaker. And whoever wants to stop by, you know, they got some free entertainment. And what I'm thinking about doing, actually, is taking this old PC, this old laptop, because it's got a bigger screen. And I think that every night that we don't go anywhere, Right outside my door right here, I'm going to set it up and just play Tagalog movies. And my buddy used to do that. You know, uh, my buddy over on the island, he's dead now. But he used to do that every night. He put the TV, uh, he actually had a, a cutout window. The TV was facing the yard. And so every night he, would, he had it hooked up to some big ass speakers. And he had the TV going. And he would, you know, put on Tagalog movies on this old DVD player that he had and blast it out. And every night, it was like free movie night at his place. You know, because a lot of these kids, they don't have TVs in the house, believe it or not. They don't have a damn iPad. 
they don't have a computer. So, you know, his kids are watching TV, so he said, fuck it, watch just whoever wants to come. He'd have 30, 40 kids over there, people, not just kids, I mean, just 40 people from uh, from the village over there enjoying free movie night and no harm, no foul. Because his kids are watching the damn TV anyhow. So I'm probably going to try to do the same, but what I got to do, I got to get some bamboo chairs to go out in my little front porch area. And that's probably what I'll do at night, just fire up that laptop, hit the uh, Bluetooth speaker, and whoever, whoever up and down my little soy right here, well I'm in the Philippines, we don't call it soy's over here, but whoever is, uh, whoever wants to come over, they come watch the movie. Alright, let's get back to this cooking show. Oh, good. Look at this guy. Hello ladies, how are you? Alright, so she's uh this thing's starting to crisp up and it's I wasn't really sure that we were doing enough of this fish, but now I'm convinced it didn't need anything else than what she did to it. It's looking delicious. Okay, my friends, what we have figured out is that it's much cooler outside than trying to sit in here at the table. It's just too hot, especially with her cooking. So, uh, again, there's a look around my little spot, my little soy. And so, that's what we'll do. And then tomorrow, tomorrow what I'll do is bring that laptop out. I might actually set it, I don't want to disturb the, the neighbor's roof, but... I think we set it right there, and then uh, I got to get some chairs to let go right here, little bamboo chairs, and we'll have movie night. All right, it's the finished product right here. I'll show it to you on the plate, but my wife likes the crispy. I like the fish crispy, and that's what we come up with right there. That's how to cook a fish. Simple style of cleaning, a simple marinade. Throw it in the oil, get that bad boy nice and crisp, and next step is to plate it and let these ladies chow down. Okay, folks, this is a finished product on this fish right here that my wife fired up over there in the wok. She did a great job. The thing is looking nice and crispy. And let me try to see if it's, I don't know if it's better with the light or without it. Maybe it is. But that thing is nice and crispy and simple prep simple cleaning you saw it from start to finish she made five slices dug out some guts with her finger thumb whatever simple marinade and then fired that bad boy up so we're about to chow down on that fried fish thanks for joining me if you're not a subscriber bottom right hand screen hit that overstay road sign and i'll teach you how to make fish